unacceptable, and I am frightened for what might happen this Sunday. Me too. Carly, I didn't think I would see a day where from the White House podium, illegal activity was condoned. And make no mistake, that's what we heard yesterday with the refusal to call off the protest at people's homes. Um, in fact, we'll pull it up. 18 U.S.C. Section 1507, whoever with the intent of influencing any judge in the discharge of his duty, pickets or parades in or near a building housing a court of the United States or in or near a building or residence occupies, occupied or used by such a judge shall be fined under this title or imprisoned for more than one wow. year or both. That's federal statute, Virginia statute. Statute also makes it illegal to protest in front of a private residence. Yeah. So why won't Saki call off illegal activity? Well, yeah. Okay, so Kaylee McEnany couldn't imagine a day where illegal activity was condoned by the press secretary. Could you imagine? Anyway, next up we've got Bernie Madoff with financial advice to keep your money safe. Just as a reminder, since apparently Kaylee McEnany has no recollection of her own tenure as White House press secretary, here she is promoting the big lie, which led to an insurrection at the U.S. Capitol. You don't oppose an audit of the vote because you want an accurate count. You don't oppose our efforts at sunlight and transparency because you have nothing to hide. You take these positions because you are welcoming fraud and you are welcoming illegal voting. Our position is clear. We want to protect the franchise of the American people. We want an honest, accurate, lawful count. We want maximum sunlight. We want maximum transparency. We want every legal vote to be counted, and we want every illegal vote to whoa, be counted. Well, I, I just think we have to be very clear. She's charging, uh, the other side is welcoming fraud and welcoming illegal voting. Unless she has more details to back that up. I can't in good countenance continue showing you this. I want to make sure that maybe they do have something to back that up, but that's an explosive charge to make. And granted, while lying in and of itself isn't illegal, let's not forget that you could draw a straight line from her very lies that she told, among other Republicans, to the insurrection on January 6th. This wasn't an accident. It was purposeful, it was coordinated, and it was incendiary. At no point did Kaylee McEnany even bother to tamp down the lies, even after it became clear just how dangerous January 6th would become when white nationalist groups and far-right militias began organizing the insurrection. So I'm sorry, but Kaylee McEnany can fuck all the way off with pretending that she has any semblance of a moral high ground when it comes to how to conduct yourself as press secretary. And it should surprise exactly no one that while looking to distract from the real issue at hand here, which is the fact that the Republican members of the Supreme Court voted to overturn Roe, an issue with 70% support across the US, what she focuses on is that Jen Psaki didn't condemn the protesters. And she couches her complaint by suggesting that this wasn't just a protest, which of course Americans have the right to do, at least until we get the next decision by Justice Alito. She's here suggesting that this wasn't just a protest, but a protest, quote, with the intent of influencing a judge. Right, because that's what these people are trying to do, trying to influence judges, not, oh, I don't know, expressing their disgust with the fact that the court stripped women of their bodily autonomy against the wishes of the vast majority of this country. That couldn't possibly be it. All of these protesters were there to influence a judge, and as such, they've all committed felonies. I know the word fascism has lost a lot of its effectiveness over the last few years, but that right there is how fascists manipulate existing law to suppress the rights of a population. By pretending, for example, that a protest isn't just a protest, but rather a coordinated effort to influence judges in an ongoing case. There is a reason Republicans have tried their hardest to co-opt the American flag. It's so that they have more plausible deniability when they act in the most anti anti-democratic, fascistic way possible. And beyond that, all of this is a way to simply distract you from the issue at hand, which is the merits of this case. Republicans are twisting themselves into absolute pretzels to avoid discussing the end goal of their own efforts, which is gutting Roe and stripping women of their right to a safe and legal abortion in the United States. It's an issue that, again, 70% of Americans support and only 28% oppose. There is a reason that Republicans want to talk about protests and leaks and everything but the actual issue, and it's because they know how radioactive and toxic it is when even they can concede, through their actions, that this is a really, really unpopular decision, I think that's pretty damn telling. And Kaylee is well aware, but let's not forget that she's the mouthpiece of a person and a party who isn't interested in what's best for Americans, but rather how they can impose their unpopular will on a country that doesn't want it. 
To see more videos like this, click the subscribe button right here on this screen. And if you want to support my work, subscribe to my podcast, No Lie with Brian Tyler Cohen. I cover the most important stories each week, and my guest is always one of the top political figures, including Vice President Kamala Harris, Jen Psaki, Elizabeth Warren, Pete Buttigieg, Nancy Pelosi, Katie Porter, Cory Booker, and so many more. The podcast link is also right here on this screen, so give it a listen and subscribe on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to podcasts.